Hi there, my name is Donald Garrity from CPAR Consultancy, and in this unit I'll cover the BW for HANA Starla add on. Agenda items Overview of the BW for HANA Starla add on, Different modes for the BW for HANA Starla add on, System demo of the BW for HANA Starla add on, and finally, key takeaways. Overview of SAP BW for HANA Starla add on. Stata add-on is a SAP NetWeaver add-on that supports you when converting a SAP BW 7.5 system on a HANA database to a BW for HANA system. You can implement the SAP BW for HANA Stata add-on as of BW 7.5 support package 4. BW for HANA Stata add-on makes it possible to transition from the existing object types, processes, and interfaces to, to the new optimized ones that are supported on the BW for HANA system. Different modes for the BW for HANA Starter add on. Once the BW for HANA Starter add on is installed on the BW 7.5 system, you have the option of four different mode types. The first mode type is the compatibility mode. When the add on is imported, the system is set to this mode by default. Object types, processes, and user interfaces that are not supported in BW for HANA are still tolerated in this mode but new developments must be implemented with the new BW for HANA optimized object types, processes, and interfaces. For example, you can still load to an InfoCube object, but cannot create a new InfoCube in your BW development system. The next mode is B4H mode. You can only switch to B4H mode from compatibility mode if the BW system only contains objects with an object type that is supported on the BW for HANA system. The B4H mode is a temporary mode, which should only be used to perform further cleanups to ensure that the system achieves a state that permits a switch to the ready for conversion mode. The next mode is the ready for conversion mode. The ready for conversion mode from B4H mode is only used on a temporary basis, immediately before the conversion of the BW system to a BW for HANA system. And the last is the BW mode. A system in BW mode behaves like a system that does not have the BW for HANA Starter add-on installed. This means that you can create object types, for example, an info cube that is not supported on the BW for HANA system. You can still use the transfer tool box. However, this mode is intended for emergency corrections only. Next is a system demo for the BW for HANA Starter add-on. BW for HANA Starter add-on that is installed on my BW system is 1.0. You can see this in system, status, product version, and under install software components, you can see BW for HANA version 1. To view and change the BW for HANA Starter mode type, you need to go to transaction RSB for H conv. You scroll down, you can see change operation mode. You can see the current mode is in the BW mode. If you click change operation mode and change, if you select compatibility mode and click Execute new mode. Job has been scheduled. We check SM37. Execute. You can see it's finished. So we go back to RSB for HCON B and scroll down. We can see that the, the, the mode has changed to compatibility mode. You want to change it back, go back in, click BW mode, click, click execute new mode, new job is created. Again, check an SM37, click execute, and go back to RSP for HConv. 
and scroll down. And you can see that's back into PW mode. Key takeaways. The SAP BW for HANA starter add-on supports you when converting a BW 7.5 system in the HANA database to a BW for HANA system. Object types, processes, and user interfaces that are not supported in BW for HANA are still tolerated in the compatibility mode. Object types, processes, and user interfaces that are not supported in BW for HANA can be still created in the BW mode. BW for HANA start add on makes it possible on a BW 7.5 system to transition from the existing object types, processes, and interfaces to the new and optimized ones in BW for HANA. And finally, BW for HANA start add on modes are compatibility mode, B4H mode, ready for conversion mode, and BW mode. Thank you for listening, and if you need additional information, please visit our website at cparkconsultancy.com. And if you have any questions, please email us at services at cparkconsultancy.com. Thank you.